done to do. So we're good back there. That's like seven. But I'm going blackbird. I'm going blackbird. It's okay. It's what am okay. I doing here? There was one Rex. Once upon a time. No. Make it so, brother. Make it so. The seats of death. Cooper Garza. Ah. Four twenty-three. No eight. Is that today? I don't even know. <clears throat> you're good. No, you're ready to roll. Where are you going, son? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cougar Garza. This is my ADD project. Seats of Death is the title. I'm going to tell you a little, about, a little bit about what it's about. All right, here's a little background information for you, you know? Movie theaters have been around since, uh, I don't know when, 1900s, early 1900s. Um, they make a lot of money, billion dollar industry, but you didn't know that. Uh, traditionally, a movie theater consists of, an auto of many auditoriums, um, box office, snack bar, shit like that. <clears throat> All right. That's, don't listen to that. <laughs> All right, my problem. My problem arose, um, I don't know how many months ago. See. A long time ago, when we first started this class, I had this ridiculous idea. I don't know what it was. It was... I don't even know. And so one day, I went to go see a movie. It was called The Mist. And I sat there and I was like, you know, this is going to be great. You know, this is a cool movie. So I'm sitting there and then all of a sudden, this bad son of a... He, come, he, he comes along, alright, and he sits right behind me. This guy, he sticks his leg, his, he sticks his feet up, and he's got his, his feet right there on the back of my seat. And I'm like, what the hell is this? I could smell it. I smelled what he stepped in. I could smell him getting fatter as he ate that candy. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Instead of getting angry and going to get the manager, hey, I'm an EDD. I'll make something to fix that problem. <laughs> All right? So the next day, I'm like, eh, I don't know. So, you know, it took, it took a couple of weeks to get the ball rolling, but it finally did. <laughs> <laughs> so I came up with this silly solution to create some kind of retractable footrest that would fit on the underside of the seat. I will show you what that probably could look like. I'll take it. See, I got a chair right here, see? It doesn't have anything on it, because I didn't do it. But if I did, this is what would, would happen. Same thing like this. And I don't know what, something would pop up from underneath, and you'd have, you know, something or something, or, you know. Sit Instead of putting your feet on the back of some guy's chair. Justification. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I have a lot. I have many stories that have to do with this justification that I've got here. All right, Edward? Yeah. No, he doesn't know. Um, these are just two articles that, are, you know, this one has something to do with shaky movie theater seats. Keep going to the next one. Don't read Article 2. Um, uh, article 3, ridiculous. Article 4, though, is pretty interesting. It has something to do with um, some rattlesnakes that got released, like, a couple of years ago in movie theaters. It has nothing to do with my problem, but it was pretty cool. <laughs> and the fifth, one, the fifth one was another like pretty interesting article. It was about uh, some needles that were found in some theater seats. Some chick was like, "I'm gonna go see a movie." You know? She sits down instead of you know sitting down and enjoying her movie. She gets pricked in the behind and she gets <laughs> HIV. <laughs> Some inconsiderate bastard left an HIV positive needle in the chair. <laughs> Those crazy people in the world, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um, you know, as I said before, I didn't do it, I didn't do any posting, but if I would have, this probably would have been pretty cool. And I guess I'll have to say, I'd suggest it to uh, anybody doing it next year. It's, you know, probably doesn't work. You know, probably unsafe. Probably <laughs> breaks a couple of fire safety rules. Or <laughs> but you know what? I care about my theater environment. I don't want some 
jerk to put his feet on the back of my chair. <laughs> oh, that, you know. It's a very interesting picture. That's not what it would have looked like. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is really interesting. I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty cool. It's a kind of drum type of deal here. <laughs> Citation. Along with that, I'd like to thank a couple of people. Mr. Colson, for example. <laughs> I'd like to thank Tyler Renner for, uh, you know, telling me my idea was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Not believing in me. Shame. <laughs> Especially you. <laughs> Man, is it hot in here or was it Crystal's presentation? <laughs> all right. <laughs> I guess that's all I got for you. Any questions? What is that? Very <laughs> articulate. I don't know what. <laughs> Friends of mine fucking with my shit. <laughs> I do actually like that title. <laughs> what? Seats of Death. I like that. I mean, you, you got me from the, the from the letter S. You know, I tried. Well, no, you did. But I mean, that's, that's another whole different story. But oh, we don't bring that up while we have to heat this roasting in our stomachs. And you know, at least you know, you know, you got a good laugh out of it. Actually, thank you. I appreciate that. You look pretty good. You actually, um, I captured it because I felt someday when you're on national TV and there's like uh, David Letterman and all that stuff and Cougar Garza comes out on stage, I'll say, I had an ED press, an EDD press message. Then I'll capture it, take it off this disc, and I'll sell it to like one of those paparazzi sites or something like that. Millions of dollars. And About the time when I get you that boat? <laughs> ah, with this disc right here, I'll just get it myself. Oh. <laughs> Name it the seats of death. <laughs> <laughs> You're a great place for, for putting the suit on, and thanks for the soft drinks too, son. Of course. I do appreciate that. that what do you want? Why, did, why didn't you do it? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you do what? I got three words for you, senioritis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>